Hey YouTube, this is Numi and I'm back with you for a series of three videos. And uh, these videos are going to look at circulation coins and older silver circulation coins from when we still had silver in our coinage in, uh, in Britain. And uh, essentially in 1947, the silver was removed from all British coins apart from special commemorative coins and uh, and replaced with cupro nickel and then uh, so between 1919 and 1947 our coinage had 50 percent silver and then before 1919 92 and a half percent silver so uh, it was uh, debased quite considerably just after the period at the end of the first world war so uh, let me show you a few of the coins that you might have found in your change if you went shopping in these periods. And there's two different types of shillings that you're seeing here, the uh, Scottish shilling and the English shilling. The English is the one going across and the Scottish is the one kind of directly facing when you look at these different shillings. But uh, in this video, we'll take a look at a few of the different coins that were around at the time. Uh, mostly the silver coins. Uh, so going back a little bit, here we've got some coins from George the V. So there's a variety of these coins, and uh, these ones are also shillings. It's it's always interesting looking at handfuls of old circulated coins to see just what a crazy, bad, disgusting, worn condition so many of these coins are when you know all the ones that we normally focus on for collecting they're all the best possible condition coins you know and there are so few of these coins that are in really really tip top condition they were used until they were totally worn out and you'll see particularly in the next video some of the victorian era coins you know they're worn to to such a degree you can't even really see what date these coins are no, and you think the uh, the story is that these coins could tell uh, if they could tell a tale. So staying with uh, with George V, uh, we can take a look at some florins. So if you haven't seen any of my videos or you don't know what a florin is and who really should know what a florin is, um, a florin was the first British decimal coin being one tenth of a pound. Pound is 20 shillings, so a florin is two shillings. And uh, you can see here clearly in this handful of change, there are two distinct um, patterns on these florins. They've all got uh, this kind of cruciform shield kind of pattern. But actually there is two distinct types here, one used in the 20s and one used in the 30s. Let's have a have a little look uh, through them. And um, okay, so you can see here the 1920s pattern. The uh, the Indimp Emperor of India wording is on the obverse, uh, not on the reverse of these early ones. And you can see here two different ones. And uh, what do you think is different about these? Well, you can't answer me, so I'll tell you. The one on the left is actually a 90% silver one. The one on the right is a 50% silver one. And you can see the one on the left is 1918. And that one is essentially a beautiful, almost silver coin. Whereas the 1922 was after they debased the coin down to 50%. So uh, take the 1918 one out the side and put it in a different pile because that one is uh, worth uh, quite a bit, quite a bit more than the, uh, the, the the debased ones, as you might imagine, because of the silver content. Skipping forward to the Queen Elizabeth's father, George the Sixth. Here's a couple of slightly more modern coins of the realm, and these ones are half crowns. So, uh, crown is five shillings, half crown is two shillings and sixpence, and uh, these are kind of war years coins. Um, I remember these coins being around when I was a kid 
in the 60s and 70s, just before decimization, which was 69 to 71. And, uh, and these coins were the kind of things that you saw all the time. They were in your change and in common usage around about that time before we went to the decimal era. I think there are quite a few people around who uh, who stack and collect kind of effectively bullion type older coinage, both in the UK and in the States. So there's lots of collectors of kind of bags of old coins and uh, quite a good market in that. Same thing goes in the UK. I think uh, these coins can be picked up for not very much more than spot sometimes. Sometimes it depends on condition. Um, you know, most of these coins are really bought for their silver content. Occasionally there's some interest uh, numismatically in the coins themselves. But um, I think they make a nice kind of sideline in a way for stackers because they do have an interest and they're you know, historical items to handle. So I can understand why a number of people are interested in picking these up and uh, collecting them and uh, thinking about the eras that those coins related to as well. So you can see here very clearly on these florins, you've got uh, the two different type of shield designs, just with one florin and the date on one. And then you can see you've got uh, George V, De Gratia, Brit, Oman, Rex. And then on the other side, uh, you've got uh, Ind, Imp, George VI being at that time uh, also Emperor of India. So collecting and stacking these kind of coins is not for everybody. I think uh, you know there's a lot of people who just like shiny new modern coins, American Eagles, but there's, I think there's a lot of other people out there, judging by some of the comments that I've had on some of my YouTube videos, that are also very, very keen on the history and learning and seeing all the different designs and variations and for them collecting a few of these inside a silver stack could be a very worthwhile thing to do so if you like this video you'll be uh, interested in the next couple in the series the uh, the next one focuses on some coins that are in the pre-1919 era which are 90 percent silver